Hello everyone and welcome back to Core Monsters. Today we are going to be at Stafford Speedway with eight trucks. Those trucks are going to be Ash Fire Extinguishers driven by Kinsley Parks, Eagle Eye driven by James Whitaker, High Voltage driven by Curtis Sparks, King Carnage driven by DJ Payne, Lifeline driven by Addison Long, Reckless Red driven by Opal Baxter, Snow Problem driven by Joe Montgomery, and then Utter Madness driven by Alice Montgomery. Now, everybody keep in mind that last season, this is where Opal Baxter had her huge wreck and was unable to continue out the season. Can't wait to see what she does differently this year and how she overcomes that coming back to the track where she was injured and had to take that time off. Now, here we go. We're going to go straight into racing here. Starting out with Addison Long driving Lifeline. This is the debut of this truck. We have not seen this before. I'm excited to see what she will do. She very slow rolling over the first ramp. Overall, very good run. She stayed committed. That's a time of 6.703. A good debut run there for Addison Long. Next up, James Whitaker and Eagle Eye. Still don't know a whole lot about this truck, but I have enjoyed watching him perform so far. Here goes good jump over the first cars, and here we go across the line with a time of 6.158. So a decent time there for him as well. Can't wait to see what uh, DJ Payne's going to do here in King Carnage coming out next. Truck has been very competitive. So far looks very good. Little little loose over the dirt there. 6.153, so just faster than what Eagle Eye pulled out there. So that'll give him the top spot. Next up, Alice Montgomery coming out in utter madness. This is kind of their hometown show. So here she goes, rolling up and over. And across the line, we're going to see a time of 6.500. So it is not the slowest times we've seen today, actually. It was a pretty decent time. Next up, Curtis Sparks and High Voltage. Here we go. Good run, very committed time of 6.284. That is a good pass there for Curtis. Now Alice's husband Joe coming out in snow problem. He has been very competitive in every show he's been at in both racing and freestyle. That was a very good pass for the time of 6.239. So faster than we've seen some trucks, not quite as fast as we've seen others. Next up, Ash Fire Extinguisher driven by Kinsley Parks coming out. Here she goes off the line up and over the first car. And on, Throttle stays committed. We're going to see a time of 6.045. That is a great time. Up and over the ramp at the end. Unfortunate. She's going to go up and over and on the lid. going to lose a little bit of the front bumper there. The team will probably be able to get that put together. Hopefully there's no mechanical damage on that truck. Now we're seeing Opal Baxter come out in Reckless Red. I was told that she really wants to put on a good show here after last season. That is a great pass. Holy moly. Time of 5.792. Man, that was a great pass. She came out, stayed committed. She's going to take our racing win. Here today, followed up by Ash Fire Extinguishers with a time of 6.045. Then King Carnage with a time of 6.153. Eagle Eye with a 6.158. Snow Problem with a 6.239. High Voltage with a 6.284. Then Utter Madness with a 6.5 flat. And then Flat 6.703 to route racing results. Alright guys, now we're going straight into Freestyle. Our freestyle order today is going to be out first, Utter Madness, followed by Lifeline. Then we're going to be seeing High Voltage. Then it's going to be Eagle Eye, followed by King Carnage. And then rounding out the show is going to be Snow Problem, Ash Fire Extinguishers, and Reckless Red. Now, as I stated earlier in the show, this is the event where last season Opal Baxter had her major crash. I'm excited to see how she's going to overcome that. I'm very curious to see what's going to happen here. You know, she just showed out really well in racing. And I suspect that she's going to come out strong in freestyle and not let anything hold her back compared to last season. Because of last season. Now, up first, as I said, Alice Montgomery coming out in utter madness. And here we go, right into the first hit there. Go up and over the cars there. So far, it's a good couple of first hits there for Alice. Just kind of getting out here and getting the feel of things. Alice tends to kind of run this truck a little bit softer. 
There you go. Really nice slap with it for Alice. Almost too late. Almost comes down on the ramp there, but she's able to get it down and woed up just enough to not hurt the truck. Now, as I was saying, Alice does tend to run the truck a little bit slower and a little bit softer. She's not, not going to see as much momentum out of her as we do some of the other trucks. Now, this is an older setup, older chassis. I believe that this may actually be the chassis that Snow Problem used to run on. You know, considering they are a husband and wife team that comes out here. Here we go. It's going to be a hit off the racing lane there. Nice little hit there. Not quite a good sky willy there, but still a nice hit. Here she goes. 30 seconds remaining as she's kind of looking for her next hit here. She's going to go right back over the racing lane. But as I was saying, you know, she this is a husband and wife team that comes out here. And she just likes to put on a show for the fans. She's here for the people more than anything. She's just out here to have fun and give everybody a good time. There's a pretty good sky wheelie there for Alice Montgomery. Got about five seconds left in the run. We'll see what, what she can finish out with here. There's a good little jump over the cars headed back the other direction. Looks like she's going to call it there. She's going to roll by. That's going to be a score of 17 for Alice Montgomery here today. That's a pretty solid score to open the show with. Now we're going to be seeing Addison Long coming out in Lifeline. Now keep in mind this is a debut show, so I'm not quite sure what to expect out of her throughout the season and as she goes forward and progresses in her career. I'm going to assume this won't be too crazy of a run. A good start, good first hit. As she has to kind of get this truck figured out and figure out what setup, what kind of setup she really wants underneath it. You know, everybody likes these trucks to be set up a little bit different from each other, and I'm sure they've done testing, and it's close, but I'm sure there's going to be things that are going to need to be changed as she learns the tracks, learns the truck, learns the competition. And I'm excited to see what that's going to do to allow her to progress. So far, she's done a pretty good job just finding things to hit and hitting them. There's a nice sky wheelie, you know, but she is staying lower on the momentum side as she is looking for what's next and trying to maybe playing it a little bit safe trying to keep the truck together I'm not sure rolls over the SUVs it's not a bad hit so I mean she's showing good truck control she's really coming down these ramps smoothly but we're not seeing anything big we're not seeing anything crazy she has made it to within 30 seconds remaining there you go pretty good air there good solid hit Nothing outstanding, nothing that's going to blow you away, but enough to be entertaining. And she's getting good seat time here. She's going to try and go up and over the SUV. She does get a little bit of a sky wheelie off of him. That's actually a pretty nice hit there. Five seconds remaining. What else is she going to do? She's going to roll over the lane there. This next hit is going to count as time has expired. I'm not sure if the judges are going to judge that. They're giving her a score of 17, so she will tie Alice Montgomery here. After the first two runs, we have a tie for the lead. Now we're going to be seeing Curtis Sparks coming out in high voltage. See if he can break the trend and get this rolling for us here today. Slow roll over the SUVs. Kind of noses down pretty hard. Here he goes up and over the dirt ramp. Goes for the slap wheel. He gets a little bit of one, but nothing, nothing like we've seen from this truck in the past. This truck does great fantastic slap wheelies and that one just wasn't quite timed right but he's going to go over and go for the big ramp that is big air biggest air we've seen at the event so far as he's going to come out and he's going to find his next hit here pretty quick right off the cars nice air up and over the racing lane that was beautifully done gets a little bit of a slap wheelie on the way down go turn it right back around going up and over the SUVs much better done this time that was nice and smooth good air there we go more big air from Curtis. I don't know what he's doing here. The truck just kind of pushed wide. He's going to go for the back side of the dirt ramp. That was nice. There's the big slap. Oh, man. He catches that other ramp and almost sends him up and over the other direction. Inside of 30 seconds remaining, he was able to get that truck to come back down, though, without anything happening. These guys do know how to control these trucks pretty well, and that kind of shows right there and how he handled that. Here he is inside of 10 seconds. Looks like he's looking for some donuts, and he is going to get them. Not a lot of momentum in these donuts, so that open front diff is really fighting him here. It's not giving him the dig. 
but a good set of donuts nonetheless. And there we go. It's going to be a score of 23 for Curtis Sparks and High Vultures. That is a good score and will take the lead. Now we'll see what everyone's going to do to follow that to try and up it even more. Next up, James Whitaker coming out in Eagle Eye. Right for the racing lane, going for big air, coming out full send. Immediately turns it around. Goes right back to the other racing lane. There we go. Good air off the racing lane into a fantastic slap wheelie right up on the bumpers and up and over the hump. That was gorgeous. There he goes. Stands on the brake to get that truck to turn up and over the SUVs. Nicely done. Up and over the little whoops section there. Not really whoops, just kind of a double dirt ramp, I guess. Here we go. We're going to turn around again. Kind of losing some momentum here as he's had to kind of look for the next hit, but here we go off the racing lane. Big sky wheelie there for James Whitaker and Eagle Eye. That was nicely done. Here we go. Kind of crosses between the two lanes as he goes for the racing lane. There's big air off the racing lane. Avoids the backside of that dirt ramp. That was probably a smart call instead of trying to go and up and over that at a weird angle. He goes, he's going to go out for the big ramp, though, inside of 30 seconds remaining here. Up and over, big air, possibly bigger than we just saw from Curtis, but it looked mostly similar. Not a great camera shot. There we go, up and over, onto the sidewalls, just almost gets it dumped over on its lid, but is able to control it, 10 seconds remaining. What's he going to do? Crosses up and over, big air off the dirt ramp. Here we go. Been a fantastic run so far. He's going to call it there. Looks like the score is going to come in as he parks the truck with a score of 23. Another tie. This is a tie for the lead with Curtis Sparks and High Voltage. Great run there for ja James Whitaker and Eagle. I'm sorry. I tripped over my words there. Now, DJ Payne coming out in King Carnage. Big air up and over the SUVs to start the run. Coming out swinging. Wants to set that bar even higher now. This has been... A good first couple of hits to start. Look at the shine on that truck here in the nighttime lights. I wouldn't want to pay for the paint job on this truck. I'm sure it's not cheap. Fantastic slap or sky wheelie into a huge slap wheelie. That was beautifully done. The control there to not let that truck go too far over was fantastic. Big air lands it up on the double dirt ramp there, and that was awkward. Could have really damaged the truck as it came down there, but it holds together. Now he's going to look for his next hit. I think that combo of hits there may have got him mixed up a little bit. He's going to go into some donuts here. And these are good donuts. You know, that was a great time to get himself in some donuts there and think about what he wants to hit next after that awkward hit. Gives him the opportunity to, to reset and make sure the truck's okay. There's a good ramp off the racing lane there. Very beautifully done. 30 seconds remaining as DJ has had a fantastic run. Maybe need a little more wow moment. There's some big air. As this truck has had a good run, but I don't know if he can call it. There's a big sky wheelie off the dirt ramp into a huge slap wheelie up on the tailgate. Well, I say tailgate. That thing's long gone. We'll just say up on the back bumper. Huge sky wheelie to end the run up and over the SUVs. What a fantastic run. There's some wow moment for you. Score a 27 for DJ Payne and King Carnage. That will be the new leader. But we do have still several trucks remaining to come out and put on a show for you guys. Joe Montgomery coming out in Snow Problem now will be a threat to that lead. And the first hit, he's already getting it awkward coming up at an angle. There's big air over the white cars. And Joe's coming out. He wants to take that lead away from DJ Payne. I mean, that's what these guys are here for, right? They're here to win. They're here to put on a show. Goes for the slap with He gets a little bit of one, but not quite as much as you would expect. Rolls it up and over the dirt ramp. Would have expected a little more off of that with the way we've seen other trucks hitting it. That was a nicely done ramp over the SUVs, though. Gets it up over, sets it down smoothly. Very nicely done. Roll over the hump and up and over the racing lane. Now, as we were saying earlier, this is the husband to Alice Montgomery now coming out. Now, Joe typically drives a little bit harder. You know, he's the one that maintains these trucks, repairs these trucks, get these trucks ready for every show that they do. So he's a little more willing to come out here and break it than Alice is. Now, I don't know if that's just the way they have the budget set up or if that's just a mental thing for Alice, but there's a good 
ramp off the dirt, but doesn't quite get the slap wheel. He kind of kicks off the that dirt ramp over there awkwardly. Has to turn himself around. Thankfully, doesn't get himself bound up or damaged in any way. There we go. Big sky wheelie off the black cars. It's a great way to come to the end of the run. I don't know if he's going to get any more in. Right as time expires, he's rolling up and over the doubles. Doesn't look like he's getting them scored. The judges may account for it, but they are not supposed to, as that was after time expired. That's a score of 25, so it is not enough to knock off DJ Payne and King Carnage. So now, Kinsley Parks coming out in Ash Fire Extinguishers has had great showing since she has started. Up and over the cars, you know, Kinsley comes out, she likes to run these trucks pretty hard. She is still very young and still kind of figuring out the driving style, but she comes out and puts on a show. She's got a lot of raw talent to expand on. There was good air up and over the dirt ramp. A lot of raw talent, like I said. She has proved herself to be a fantastic driver. Nice air off the racing lane. It showed last season when she came to finals in place of Opal Baxter, actually. Oh, that was a big sky wheelie. Lands on the rear bumper. That's a hard hit on the chassis. Truck stays together, though. Like I said, when she was at finals for last season for Opal Baxter, she this was actually the chassis that ran. It just ran with the reckless red body on it. And she had a pretty good showing there and kind of showed the world what she can do. So I'm excited to see going forward what she's going to do. 30 seconds remaining. Big air there for Kinsley Parks. That was huge. 20 seconds remaining after that. That was a massive hit, though. Big sky wheelie. Absolutely massive sky wheelie there. She gets it up and over on the hump, and that's going to go up and over on the lid. That's not going to be enough. Score of 26 for Kinsley Parks. Just cuts it in too early, and it goes up and over and tumbles. Now Opal Baxter coming out in reckless red. A lot to think about going into this run, while especially leaving a truck out in the field. I'm not sure what the thought process is there, but they have left Ash Fire Extinguishers on the track. So Opal is both down an obstacle, but has gained an obstacle. Will it be interesting to see if she utilizes it. That is a great slap wheelie right off the rip for Opal. Great little combo move as she goes up and over the dirt ramp. She's going to whip it right back around. She's going to stay away from that other side of the track, it looks like at first. You know, if she gets over there by that truck and misjudges just one thing, it could end in disaster for her. Now, she won freestyle here last year, and she is coming out here throwing down. She wants to win it again. This is a great set of donuts for Opal. She is not scared. I was interested to see how it was going to play out for her after last season. But she has come out throwing down. She is lining up for looks like the SUV ramp. Oh, is she going to do it? She is going. She tries to go up and over, gets the tire, and actually kicks her up and over. She's unable to save it. What a hit. But that is a score of 30 for Opal Baxter and Reckless Red. She is going to take the freestyle win here again this year. Now, I don't know what's going on with the standings card here, as it does say the score of 28. But as you saw, she had a score of 30 here today. But she will win our freestyle in the standings as follows. are going to be King Carnage in second with a 27. Ash Fire Extinguishers with a 26. Snow Problem with a 25. Eagle Eye and High Voltage with a 23. And then Lifeline and Utter Madness with a 17 rounding out the show. Guys, this was a fantastic show. I really hope you all join us next week as we head to Anaheim. I will see you there. Have a good week.